For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once it's on it, we're going to head over to network and internet. And then we're going to click on proxy. You want to make sure that user proxy server has been turned off. If you already have it set up, then there'll be an option for you to turn it off. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to select either Wi-Fi or Ethernet, no matter which one you have, you want to double click on it and then click on properties. And then you want to select internet protocol version four. And then you want to make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on okay. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Once you do that, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter. Now wait for this to load. Now once that's loaded up, you want to restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.